Good day, everyone. Welcome to uh, an accounting class. Today we are doing accounting paper two, November 2021. May I request that you take out this paper? It's accounting paper two, which was written in November 2021. I have this one. And also, I have brought the answer sheet to this paper, counting paper 2, November 2021. So I have a question paper with me and an answer sheet. So paper 2, we are then going to start with question 1. Before we get to the question paper, let me take the answer sheet so that I can just draw a few things which were given in the answer sheet on the board. So you have your question one, and there is 1.1, and there is also 1.2, and there is a table there in 1.2, which was given. There is a provisional balance, provisional balance, and also there is an amount here yeah, of 228,000. So this was provided in the answer sheet. So it's important to understand that in accounting, some information, you get it from the answer sheet. Provisional balance, you have Roman figure one, Roman figure two, Roman figure 3, Roman figure 4, Roman figure 5. Accounting is a very interesting subject in the sense that when you are writing it, you are also provided with the answer sheet, which makes it very easy for you to give answers because you can start when you are writing the exam you can start with whatever question that you feel you are comfortable with so it's a privilege on us that we are given an answer sheet and therefore we are able to work uh, without being uh, disturbed by anything because there is an answer sheet provided okay there is also here underneath data workings and an answer the first data here is a bands if you don't have an answer sheet it will also help you to draw this answer sheet in your exercise book. Just increase the space here for calculations a little bit. Right, our answer sheet is ready now for question one, 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2. Right, let's then go to the question paper so that we can do this question. This question one is based on debtors reconciliation and age analysis. 
Data's reconciliation and age analysis. Remember the debtors are the people who owes the business. These people, they buy from us on credit. So whenever we are selling our goods on credit, we then give those people that buy from us on credit a special name. They are called debtors. So here we are doing debtors reconciliation. We are correcting some mistakes which may arise when we are keeping the records for debtors. Remember the business it is the responsibility of, of every business that you must keep proper accounting records so that uh, you have the correct balances of the amounts that are owed by these debtors. So now we are doing reconciliation and age analysis whereby we are correcting some few mistakes in CAD when we were doing the recording for this. So here, the information given, it says zigzag traders sells ladies clothing on credit. We are selling ladies clothing on the credit and debtors are allowed a credit term of 30 days, underline that one. So these people are given 30 days to settle their accounts. So we are required. Provide two documents that zigzag traders will need from potential debtors before they will be allowed to open accounts. So when you are selling on credit, and you are opening accounts for your customers. You don't just do that haphazardly. You cannot just give credit to anyone. There is some processes that needs to be followed. And in that process, the business will require that those people need to provide certain documents. So what will be those documents that you might need? Maybe because we are required, there might be a lot of documents, but maybe the first one, will be your identity document, identity document. We need to know that the name that you are giving us is the correct one and it is the one that is reflected in your identity document. Because we want to sell goods on credit to you, we also need to check affordability. Are you going to be able to afford to pay us back? So we also need proof of income. Proof of income. The proof of income may be you may, may give us your salary advice or maybe you can just go to the bank and give us a three months bank statement so that we are able to see that you do have an income and that will also even assist us to create a credit limit for you because we can for a person who is earning 2,000 rents a month and then you give that particular person 100,000 credit limit because you can see that that person will not afford to pay it back so it's very important that these documents must be provided you need to get the identity document to to know that if you are you are selling to the correct person and the proof of income there may be so many other things that you may read like references you may also check credit worthiness how has this person been conducting his or her previous uh, credits so that you are able to take the correct decision so there is maybe just the two because this question is only asking for two 1.2 2, 